Shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High, which means He is, He exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai means He the Deliverer. He is the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. He only died for the Israelites, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, including Israelite foreigners. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel, according to the King James Holy Bible. Back here again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You know, and really I'm just going to delve into um, the seriousness of this, uh, you know, gospel, man. The seriousness of this gospel, because a lot of people like to play around and think this thing is some form of a joke. Or think that this thing is a form of some kind of gimmick. And this video right here is a very, 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 very serious video. Like I said before, man, Yahweh Shai made a very serious statement. Because people need to mind the way they speak and the way they open their mouth. Gotta be very careful, man. You know? Gotta be very careful because everything is being recorded, man. Everything that's being said is being recorded. Yes, it might seem as if words are being thrown to the air. But I'm telling you that now. There's a recording system that's recording every single thing that people are saying. So you got to be very careful on the words that you use, on the way that, you know, behavior is being done because the Heavenly Father is watching, man. Okay, Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall. Shall is old English. Shall means what? Will give account thereof in the day of judgment. And that's what's coming soon, man. Where people are going to have to give responses to allegations and claims which were made, man. And that's why it's very, very important. <laughs> why do you think the scripture says a wise, even a fool, when he closes his mouth, he is considered wise? Because of you being recorded. Because you are being recorded, man. Okay? And because you are being recorded... It's best to just be silent and avoid any form of danger, man. I'm telling you, because, you know, what you see on the picture right there is somebody standing on a uh, screen shocked. And you got the angels standing in formation on this picture, man. You know? And he's looking surprised on that image, man. Because why? Because they're going to have to give account, man. And it's going to be very, very, very serious. So this is the reason why we have to be silent, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Let's read what the scripture says, man. Yeah, let's read what the Bible says, man. Let's get it real quick. Let's read it. Proverbs 17 verse 28. It says, Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. And he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. It's even a fool, someone that's dumb, someone that, that their brain is not working properly, yeah, is, is seen as a wise person when he's quiet. And he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Keeping quiet. Silence is one of the most powerfulest tools someone can have. You see, like even for instance, look at the elites. Look at the Rothschild and Rockefeller family. They don't really talk a lot, but you see them control the system. The Heavenly Father doesn't talk too much, but you see how he controls the whole entire earth, man. You know, the book is there, the Apocrypha is there, and he's a power that hides himself, man. 
so you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, he's he's um he's going to bring judgment very soon. Very soon. What's the name of that game? Jenga. Very soon, there's gonna be a Jenga piece that's gonna be taken out, and every single part of that pyramid is going to crumble and crash. So people have to be very, very careful. And even me, myself, I have to be careful, man. I have to push out the fear of the Lord more than a microchip, man. You know? Fearing Yahweh Hashem Yahushai should be the main thing that should be pushed out. Not some RFID chip. The fear of the Heavenly Father is the beginning of wisdom, man. You know? Fear the Heavenly Father. Fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's what should be pushed out the most. The main thing that should be pushed out the most is fearing Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because the Heavenly Father is the one that's chipping people if you want to take it on that level, man. Because really, when John was in the island of Patmos and he was writing the book of Revelation, right? Technology never existed at that time, but it was ordained to come to pass, man. And when you read Revelation chapter 19, it tells you the beast deceived those that have received the mark of the beast. That's future tense. So if Revelation 18, let me, let me delve into it real quick. Let me go into Revelation 18. All right, let's go straight into it. So there's people that have been ordained by the Most High to take the chip. Revelation, let's read uh, Revelation chapter 19, verse 20. And the beast, which is NATO, which is an acronym for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, the beast was taken and with him the false prophet. The false prophet is what? The false prophet is what? The false prophet is the roman catholic church because all these denominations of christianity stem under the roman catholic belief system right Rough miracles before him with which he had deceived them that had received the mark of the beast now right now the catholic church is not persuading people to take an rfid chip that hasn't happened yet so this is future tense man this is going to happen very soon. Beast and them that worship his image. The, the system is the image of the beast. This society is the image of the beast. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Because when you analyze what nuclear missiles do, it radiates the concrete. And once the nuclear missile radiates the concrete, the concrete is going to turn into charcoal, into burning coals. Because when you put, when you burn a stone, when a stone is on fire, that is referred to as a brimstone, man. So that's what the nukes and the the uh, the ash from the marakab, the laser beams that come out of those chariots that the angels are going to dispatch and emit. That's going to cause what the 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 uh, the yeah, what's the name of this thing again? The, 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 the brimstone, man. And that laser beam that the angels are going to emit is going to radiate all these buildings and disintegrate them into dust, man. Because when you read the book of Ezra, 2nd Ezra 16, it speaks about these heathens being disintegrated into dust. Like that movie, War of the Worlds, man. So Yahweh Shimi Al Shai is not a god to be played with. Yahweh Shimi Al Shai is not a god to be played with, man. And very, very soon people are gonna start fearing Yahweh Bahashimi Al Shai. Very soon people are gonna start fearing the Heavenly Father, man. Because Nebuchadnezzar was proud. And what did the Most High do? The Most High turned Nebuchadnezzar into a mutant. He turned him into a mutant, man. Half human, half animal, and, and beast, man. He mutinized him. 
if that's a correct terminology, man. Okay? So this, this thing is soon coming to an end, man. And the Heavenly Father is soon about to hit the hammer down for things to happen. So we got to be on point on this thing, man, because, you know, the angels are watching what we're doing, you know, and the demons, the most highest villain, the villains of God want to see us fail. You know, the demons want to see us fail, man. They want to see us uh, uh, be unsuccessful. And that's why we have to pray every single time, man. Pray instant, in season and out season, man. Because that every idle word that men shall speak. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> be careful, man. I'm telling you, fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh. Fear the Lord, man. If there's anything you can remember in this lesson, if you can't remember this whole entire lesson, Remember what I said from the beginning of this video. Fear the Heavenly Father because the Most High is about to shut this place down. You know, don't think that Esau is going to be running around ruling the world, man. Very soon, when the Heavenly... Listen, this Bible, <laughs> things have to come to pass, man. Yes, Esau is in rulership and the nations and everything, but the Israelites are written to rule, man. So this prophecy hub must come to pass. It doesn't, the most high is not a respecter of person. Don't look at Elon Musk doing his AI and Bill Gates uh, creating um, uh, microchip uh, birth controls. You know, we're focused on bigger things, man. You know, we're focused on becoming uh, primordials. So anyways, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the 144,000 and the innumerable multitude. Man. Stay vigilant, stay careful, because the adversary, the devil, is coming down like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So we got to stay in the spirit, man, and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shalom.